Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how to plant a, a butterfly pot. It's only sunny in the front of the house and in the back of the house, but I don't wanna put it in the back of the house. Every time, guys, every time. So I bought this barrel. It's a plastic gray barrel that I bought from Lowe's. It's the Style Selection brand. This is what we're gonna put the butterfly garden in. I'm gonna drill three, probably three, two here, and maybe another holes here, just so it has like enough drainage. And we're gonna plant butterfly bush, butterfly weed, uh, milkweed, and we're gonna plant some Xena seeds. Xena? Xena seeds. Sorry for my pronunciation is off. So we're gonna make a butterfly pot because I have a little pollinator garden to the left of me for the bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds, but it is not in full sun. And it says that butterfly bush full eight hours of sun. I would put it on the balcony in the backyard, but I'm nervous that the chickens will eat my garden because they eat everything else. As well, they eat butterflies, so probably safer that I bring the butterflies up here. And what's cool about this, we went to an event here at one of the parks and they gave us free plants. They gave me the free butterfly weed, butterfly bush, and milkweed. And I think that's so awesome. There's a, a great community here with certain things. And so I bought dirt, I bought a pot. We're gonna put in some all-purpose fertilizer. This is for vegetables and for flowers, fruits, trees, and shrubs. And so we're gonna plant them so you guys can come and uh, plant them with me and hopefully they grow and hopefully they have enough space in here and we'll just like watch it and make sure that they can grow with enough uh, room in here. I wanted to get the Gavilanzer uh, pot steel container but I couldn't find them. I'm probably butchering the name. I'll show a picture. But yeah, this is a great thing to do for the monarch butterflies. All this, um, all of these plants are for monarch butterflies. And then I might eventually have to put like a netting around it. I might have to move it on the balcony uh, so that the caterpillars can grow. But anyway, this is for the monarch butterflies. The event was all about monarch butterflies and it was so cool. And this is something that is something I enjoy and that, you know, makes my heart happy. I hope you guys enjoy. I want to be part of saving the butterflies and the pollinators, the bees and everything. I'll show you my pollinator garden in a minute. It's not fully grown yet. And then as well, you can get like a certificate that you created a monarch butterfly uh, garden. I wanted to do it on the side of the house, but it only gets half a shade and these plants need full sun. So we'll see how it goes and hopefully they just survive. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Okay, I got a Sta Green brand potting mix and plus fertilizer, so I actually don't need that fertilizer. And it feeds up to nine months, it says. Ideal for flowers, vegetables, and herbs. So you wanna get a potting mix, I think, or an all-purpose soil. I don't know if it's the same thing. It might not be. But you wanna get an all-purpose soil because you don't want regular soil. For whatever reason, I watched a video. I know this is a horrible explanation. Guys, I'm a beginner. I'm not an expert, okay? You see how cloudy it is today? But yeah, so we're gonna do this. Let's do it. You want the all-purpose soil because of the drainage. It'll help drain better. All right, so here is four, well, five little pieces. This is uh, milkweed. I think she said it was swamp milkweed. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure if, if it's, if there's different types of milkweed but milkweed is great for caterpillars and for the caterpillars to eat. This is the, this is the butterfly bush and this is the butterfly weed and that helps give it nectar. The nectar helps the butterflies eat, obviously. Oh, 
Okay, so this is the butterfly weed and it is the color orange of flowers. And then the butterfly bush supposedly gets really big. Sorry for the long care in the background, but this will have like a purple cone type of flowers. They're like, go up. Remember guys, I'm a beginner. Please no hate. This is me, be a beginner. This is not like a pro thing. But it's a, a great thing to, you know, add a butterfly garden for your pollinators, for your monarch butterflies, because they're becoming less and less and their species is diminishing in numbers. And, you know, because of the herbicides and pesticides. If you have a house, one way you can help the planet is to create a butterfly garden and a pollinator garden too. It's just your way to participate. Here is the final look. I think it looks super cute in the barrel. I think it just adds texture to the yard. And look how pretty this is. So to recap, we have the milkweed right here. This is for the caterpillars to eat. And I'm gonna find out if I could propagate this because I'm sure they eat a ton. Oh, the sun's peeking through. Then we have the butterfly weed, which is, helps with the nectar for the butterflies and the butterfly bush right there. So that's what it looks like. So it's all done and now the sun is out. So now we can get some sunlight. Ideally, you want to plant this in the ground. Again, I'm a beginner just testing this out, see how they grow. I might have to move it, you know, for the caterpillars and stuff. I might have to net it to protect the caterpillars and stuff from birds, which I'm probably going to have to do. But for now, it's gonna stay right here. I think it turned out beautiful. I love the barrel look actually, besides I actually prefer this now than the steel one that I was originally gonna do. And this was about $16 at Lowe's. A lot of things are like $20, $40. So I got this under $16. So I think this worked out really well and I think it's super cute. And yeah, so if you wanna start a butterfly garden, you can start it in a pot. You might not be able to put milkweed in it. You might can do like other pollinator plants, I'm really not sure. This is me doing a trial and error and just see what works and just trying out to, to start a butterfly garden. They also lay eggs on the milkweed, the monarch butterflies. We'll see. And I'm also going to get a butterfly kit for my son, Leo. Stay tuned for that experience. That's going to be like a little homeschool project with us. And then I can put the butterflies on their garden. I'm going to show you guys now the pollinator garden that I made for more the bees, but also the butterflies to benefit. So let's go look at that. 
So I didn't plant the ziennas or zennas, ziennas flowers in the pot because there's not enough room. So I'm going to see if there's any room in the pollinator garden, but I'm also going to pop them in a separate pot. This is the pollinator garden right here. I'm going to show you a other view. Here we got some, um, we have, oof, no, everything came off the tags. Anyway, so this is the pollinator garden. This is the little overview and it's growing pretty well the daisies died but they need full sun so i'm pretty sure they died there but we got some new blooms coming in i had my little gnome guys set up around but my son moved it and then i have my little hummingbird so these are cosmos these are a bunch of wild flowers here and then i said daisies we got little liniana fairy bouquet they're so tiny these are just weeds that i need to like take out um and then i think these are more wild plants i know i did calendula and i also did some marigolds i think i'm not sure i forgot what i planted i had the tags here but they came out these are just weeds right here so i'll just pull these out while we're talking um but yeah i think these might be wildflowers and we got my 4-4 rock this rock was actually here when we moved in, super cool. Okay, we got some weeds. These little guys I got for like five bucks in a set of, of six from Hobby Hobby. They're so cute. So I'll just set them again, but my son is probably gonna take them away. And then right over here, I have golden yarrow. Yep, they're, they're growing right here. These are golden yarrow. I think these are just weeds. So we'll put, pull these out. But yeah, that's my pollinator garden. And so then the butterfly garden's right there. So if the butterflies want to fly over here, we got it. And there's my hummingbird feeder. Just ordered the butterfly kit for Leo as a homeschool project and education kit for him and for me too, because it'd just be so much fun. But anyway, it should arrive on July 11th with five caterpillars and I'm super excited to just have this little activity to do with Leo especially now when it's so hot for us to even be outside yesterday on June 30th it was 102 degrees in Missouri wild did not know it got that hot so fast here yeah I, we, we can't go out in those temperatures I don't have shade in my backyard so anyway so I got the butterfly kit, so stay tuned for me getting that and us setting it up and doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna plant some of the ziennas. Sorry if I'm butchering the name and driving you crazy. Um, if you're wondering what these little marks are, my chicken, Ava, has the sharpest nails. And when I pick her up, that's what she does to me. The only chicken that does it to me. But anyway, I'm gonna probably end the vlog because this is probably just getting boring now. <laughs> Happy butterfly gardening and go get your milkweeds and your butterfly weed and your butterfly bush and go put them in somewhere in your backyard, front yard. Even if you have a balcony, if you have just a balcony and you have sunlight, just do it. Just, you just gotta go for it. Don't second guess it, just go for it, see how it goes. Here is the updated Sienna's. We got a nice pink one. And look, there's a little, a little guy in this one. Eating the nectar. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that's poop, Leo.
Look at that. We got our first caterpillar. Got one there. We got one right here. Those are monarch caterpillars. There's one right there. How cool is that? Sitting on the thing. Oh, he's getting dry. 